I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one of these. I'm gonna do one of these. I'm gonna do one of that. Learn that from Krav Maga. Maybe one of these. Uh huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, they're going down. Oh, you had coffee this morning. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Welcome to Mythical Kitchen. I'm Josh. And I'm Trevor. And we're Wicked, Wicked Smart. But more importantly, we're also losers. Yeah, we are. Uh, because a couple months ago, we challenged Nicole and V to a 2v2 queso off for the big game, and we got smoked. Yeah. Mostly because their dish, it tasted better, it was more creative, yeah. it was more beautiful. Yeah. But also, yeah. I think we got sabotaged a little bit. You think we got sabotaged? I think we got sabotaged. I don't think we got sabotaged. We did get sabotaged. Nicole poured bleach into our queso. <laughs> yeah. I saw it happen. It yeah. smelled like Clorox. It smelled like a yep. dentist's office. Yep. Uh, but today we're out for vengeance. Yes, we are. Because we are doing the most extreme, the most hardcore burger battle you've ever seen on this channel. Ever seen. And to judge this extreme burger off, we have Link Neal's daughter, Lily Neal herself, in-house, the most impartial judge I've ever seen. The most impartial. And Josh, the stakes are pretty high today, okay? <laughs> Guess what? The loser of the 2v2 burger battle, whom Lily will decide is the loser, who of is, will post their most embarrassing high school photos to the Mythical Kitchen Instagram. And I've got some pretty embarrassing ones, so please, let's win. It's gonna get real weird. Let's it's win. It's gonna please. get... Nicole and V are going down! Yeah. We're going down, but also... Going down. If you want to make the recipes yourself, that you can snag... We've broken it down into three steps. I think it's... I don't think there's three of them because we two birds. Are we giving recipes? <laughs> yeah, we're giving recipes. The time yeah. codes are going to be over yonder, and then the full written recipe is going to be down yonder. I want to get that clean real quick. <laughs> no. Trevor, why do you think we lost last time? I'll tell you why, Josh, because not enough people listen to Trevor Talks Too Much, my podcast. You should go listen, Apple, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. Yeah, duh, that. Also, our hips weren't limber enough. Yeah, true, true. <sighs> but then three. <laughs> We just tried to make like a simple elevated queso mm -hmm. that was good. And then Nicole and V came in and they just slapped us in the A double hockey sticks with creativity. Mm -hmm. And so today we're holding nothing back. Yeah. We're calling this Tawny Sashery's wet dream. You know a dream yeah. that you wake up sweating from? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a, a wet dream. Because yeah, you're dreaming dream. about food that was so good. Yeah. And so we're gonna get a little crazy with it today. Yeah. Uh, Trevor, you're making beignet hamburger buns. Yep. We're going real Cajun influence on this. And I'm gonna do a little bit of like Cajun garlic butter shrimp right here. And this is just the beginning. Then we're gonna make a double smash burger in Dewey spiced pork and beef burger. We're holding nothing back today. Dude, I'm so excited. Because me and Nicole, they've been gloating over this win. They really for so have. long. They like really milking it. They like question and my character. They're like, Trevor, you're a bad person because you lost you're the case a, You're an effing piece of A. Yeah, that's what, that's they what said. they've been saying. So that's a little beignet mix. It's like a fortified leaven dough with yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's gonna make little puffy sweet things, except we're not yeah. putting powdered sugar on them. We're not putting it's powdered sugar. We're gonna. What? Yeah. Oh, it's giving me a, it's giving me a, I'm getting a mantle toe. <laughs> Trevor, what are you doing? I'm rolling out, nothing weird happened. Nothing the, weird. The, you uh. probably saw bars and tone, completely normal. No, I'm rolling out this beignet dough. Some call it a camel tail. <laughs> so we got the butter and the garlic here. Yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit of tawny sacheries, best Cajun seasoning in the game. Yeah. We just want to drench the shrimp and garlic butter, and then the shrimp is effectively going to act as a condiment for our burger. We're going with conda shrimp. Conda shrimp, not condom shrimp. That's a different dish. All right, so I got the, what the hell? Dude, we're going to lose if we- We're not going to lose. Dude, we got to be serious, Josh. I paid Lily off, man. I gave oh, her really? like a, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> I paid her in fake Lord of the Rings money. Uh. <laughs> like Lily, here's some elf coins. <laughs> elf coins. <laughs> Is that what they call them? Yeah, bro, it's elf coins. Know, you haven't been investing right, in elf coin. <laughs> <laughs> when Orlando Bloom gets really hard up for cash, that's what he's gonna go do. All right, we got the Tony Sashies, we got the butter, we got all the garlic, we got a little bit of lemon in there. We're just gonna give it some nice little flippy flips on that shrimp. Oh, I'm just gonna warm them up because these have been poached and they've been chilled to the perfect level of doneness. Kind of mull them around. Yummy. Dude, can we have one as a snack? That's like too yeah. much shrimp for the burger, so. Snack shrimp. Uh, all right, nice. a little bit more lemon. That's a nice shrimp. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna hold these in the butter. Bingo, bango. Conda shrimp. I'm frying up the beignets. Trevor, what are your top five favorite things about beignets? Bread. 
That's one. Powdered sugar. That's two. Tastes good in my mouth. I like that. They have them at Disneyland. And they do have them at Disneyland. Uh, and number five has got to be the name. It's a silly name. It's Why do you si pronounce it that way? There's a G in it. It makes yeah. no sense. B big Nets. Big Nets? Who's big ever, Nets. If one person can explain to me why they're spelled like that. Yeah. Uh, without insisting that they're French. But yeah, that's got to be <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be top five for me. So yeah, this is just gonna take a minute. Do you want to say a joke while we wait? So a Frenchman, a Pole, and an Austrian walk into a bar. And then he says, then he says, Auf Wiedersehen! <laughs> Can you, I don't get it. Whole, well, you missed the whole joke. We're gonna dust them, because they're normally dusted with powdered sugar. Yeah. But we don't want this to eat too sweet. We want this to really no, lean into yeah. the spice of all that shrimp and all that Tony Caesar is gonna get a little bit of powder on there. You're gonna want some of that powder coming <laughs> off your hands on this burger. Have you ever had a burger served on fried dough before? No. I think I've had some like novelty donut burgers, but like nothing like this. this no, yeah. This is like this we're we're breaching new territory here. Sorry, I'm gonna flip that one. This side's ugly. Breached like a porpoise being birthed tail first. Alright. What? You ready to cook up some bergs? Cook up some bergs, my favorite Tuesday activity. Trevor, breaking out the big guns. Donnie C is bald. Donnie's. For the bald Donnie C inside of you. I don't I don't know who talks like that. Uh, we gotta start making some burgers. So yeah. we have equal parts pork and 70-30 BP. We're gonna have to be nice and kind of greasy because we're gonna make smash burgers. And yeah. Andouille spice smash burgers using an Andouille spice mixture. Yeah. Got all that paprika, cayenne, Ooh. garlic. A uh, little bit of crushed fresh toasted fennel Dude, seed. Dude, is that fresh toasted fennel? Bro, smell that. Oh, you know yeah, that's fresh toasted fennel. fennel. So we're gonna make this like nice and red, nice and spiced oh up. We're not gonna salt it yet, because otherwise it would turn into sausage. We don't want it to turn into sausage. So I'm gonna mash that up. Trevor, uh, hit him with a type five. Uh, what's type five? What does that mean? You like said you have jumping jack? No. <laughs> this kid, this kid, man. He said he's wicked smart. I don't think he's wicked smart. What does type five mean? I mean yeah, type five, it's a comedy routine. Like a type five minutes, a oh, five minute set. My bad, I missed the part routine. where I was a professional comedian, Josh. All right, uh, Trevor, I'm gonna smash these burgers here. Yeah. My hands are covered in raw meat. Do you wanna get into that salt well and give me a nice little salt on them burgs? Yeah, I do. We'll toss the shrimp. Our shrimp are nice and hot right now. I'm gonna take those off the heat. Thank you for giving me something to do. I felt yeah, pretty yeah. useless. Well, you can stare at the buns. Get that nice and hot, and then we're gonna drop in a burger. There we go, and then we're gonna smash it down. There you go. Get a nice, you can cook two at once. Definitely can't cook two at once. Let's try it. What are you up to? Whoa, you're doing two at once? Bro, we're going double smash, you're cooking two at once. You want me to salt them? What, yeah, hold on, I'm gonna peel off the paper. There we go. What's happening? Sheesh! All right, that's great. And then, uh, Trevor, I'm gonna flip these, and then you are gonna cheese them, and then we're gonna stack them, and then we're gonna assemble the burger. Okay. You feel confident. Wait, do you cheese how many slices? I think just one per. One per? Yeah, we don't wanna get, dude, I could've moved that for you. All you have to do is ask. Dude, wait, we should tell them what this is. This is pickled Cajun Trinity slaw. So Cajun Trinity, onion, bell pepper, Celery, they use that instead of like a mirepoix, typically in gombo and jambalaya, etouffee, all that stuff. So we took that, shaved it raw, pickled it, did it Mexican escabeche style by frying it first. Pretty stoked yeah, on that. Yeah, pretty stoked on it. I'm gonna cheese them. Cheese them. Nice caramelization. There we go. Less on that one, that's okay. There it is. That's pretty good. Is. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, so what, we're gonna wait for that to cook okay. about one minute, and then we're gonna stack on the buns. So we got a remoulade yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a bunch of like Creole mustard, little like pickly bits, oniony bits, ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, all that. I'm gonna go wash the raw beef off my hands. Cool. So anyway, I was walking down the street, and this guy came up to me, and he was like, dude, have you heard about Ligma? And I was like, what's Ligma? And he said, Ligma balls. Worst you damn I <laughs> You know what a type five is. <laughs> All right. I'm stacking the bergs on top of each other. You want to get some, we need to punch that bun down a little bit. Get some remoulade on that bun. I'm going to go right in with the bergs. No, no, we learned that bottoming is better than topping. So we're going to get the remoulade on there. And then I'm going to get some of the slaw right on. That's nice. Oh, oh that's good. Bosses. Kind of wring out the juice in the slaw. Yeah. God, if only nice. Lily was seeing how we manhandled these burgers. Wow. She'd be so impressed. Yeah, she sure would, Josh. All right, okay, okay, okay. All right, we got the nice slaw. Now I'm gonna take double andouille oh smash burger God. patties. Get that right on there. But... Okay. Come on. Do you need to butter up the shrimp? What? Well, I got you that extra butter for the shrimp. Oh, dude, wait, wait, hold on. Let's get, okay. let's get the shrimp. Toast it one more time. Wait, should we just toss it in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Shrimp's yeah, getting, yeah, yeah, yeah. The shrimp's going in the beef yeah, fat. Yeah, beef, beef. Shrimp's beef. going in the beef fat. Oh, it's good. There oh, it is. Oh yeah. Just like That's the Benny Hunter. Just like the Benny Hunter. Just like the Benny Hunter. Look at Tony Sash's balls. Look at Tony C's. Tony C's. Tony C's balls. Your dream's gonna be so wet, Tony. There we go. Got the shrimp toast in the beef fat. 
That's a little bit of butter. Dude. There we go. And now we're just gonna like hit it with like a nice Holy freaking solid heck. portion of shrimp. Oh yeah. On top of that burger. Mm -hmm. oh, where are we going? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Get some more yeah. remel on that bun. Get some more remel on that bun. Did we forget anything? This seems too simple for us. No, I think you it's know? perfect. I mean, let's run through the steps. Yeah, we got okay. We got okay. The, we got the the, the, the bun, beignet buns. Beignet Dustin buns. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Got we got the Cajun Trinity slaw. Yep. The garlic. We got the double smash and Dewey spice pork and beef burgers. Yeah. The American cheese. White American. White American. And then we got the the Donny C's wet dream butter battered shrimpies. Yeah, and then remoulade beignet top. That's it, man. That's Tony C's wet dream burger. Wow. Nicole and V. You think you're gonna have a wet dreams coming for you? Nope. It's gonna be a nightmare. Wet nightmare. A wet <laughs> V. Nicole. Hey. Hey. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. To beat the boys again? I was getting there, but yeah, you yelled it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do one of these. I'm gonna do one of these. I'm gonna do one of that. Learn that from Krav Maga. Maybe one of these. Uh huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, they're going down. Oh, you had coffee this morning. Yeah, I did. <laughs> What do we're, we have, Nicole? What do we have? We're making a stewed oxtail burger. Okay. Now, most people might not enjoy oxtails because they don't know what it is. Right. An oxtail is literally the tail of an ox. Yes, it is. You know, some people don't know that. They're like, oh, what's an oxtail? I'm like, literally what it says. Like the butt. Yeah. But like the it's thing the that tail. hangs off the butt. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sear off these oxtails in a little bit of oil. Okay. Very important whenever you're cooking oxtails, you want to do it in batches because you don't want to crowd the pan because you want a nice brown sear on your oxtail. And you don't want to get yelled at by your auntie in the back kitchen. Yeah, no one wants to get yelled at by an auntie. The oxtails are going to be super flavorful, really delicious. We got some tricks up our sleeves. I'm ready. That the guys don't even know no, what's they, coming. They just yell and act like they know what's going on and it just makes it interesting, but... Yeah, they they cut up their shirts. What the heck are they, they talking about? show their belly buttons. Yeah. You think showing your belly button makes you a good cook? I don't want to see that hairline. Okay, we're just going to get these seared. Okay. This pan is taking way too long to heat up again. <laughs> just throw it all in there, Nicole. Okay, fine, throw it. Throw just throw it, it all in there. It was good. Yeah, before Ben yells at us. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Ben. It's okay, we're just gonna let it hang out here. One time, mm -hmm. um, when I first tried oxtails, uh -huh. I burned the roof of my mouth. You did? And it turned soggy, and there might the, have been skin that came out. The roof of your mouth turned yeah, soggy? Yeah, and I thought it was a piece of meat. So I ate it. You swallowed your it own was, body? And it was. That sounds really painful. Um. Did you go to the doctor? No. Who, Me? Got, who goes to the doctor? I go so much. I, my this mom was one work, of those right? people who was like, oh, if you can walk, you can get through anything. Yeah. So basically, I always went to school. Yeah. Oh, no. I, I never always went. went. This is nice, you know? I don't think you and I get to like talk and hang out like this very often. Because our oxtails are cooking. <laughs> All right, so our oxtails are relatively seared now. Yeah. Now we get to add all the fun stuff in there. Cool. Which one do you want to do first? Let's add all the veggies Go first. For it. Yeah. So we got some beautiful chopped onions, a little bit of green onion, and then tomato. And then I like my oxtails to be quite garlicky, so I just shove a, a whole ass, a whole ass bowl in there. And now let's get to the seasoning. I like to add salt, pepper, allspice, which is very common in Jamaican cuisine. Brown sugar. Oh, you <laughs> Ginger, thyme, and then the two very special ingredients. We got browning. And more brown stuff. And Maggie. Now these are flavors that are very brown tasting. They literally are brown in a jar. They make your food taste super <laughs> umami and super flavorful. They're chock full of delicious flavors. Maybe a few chemicals, but it all makes sense once it cooks down for a few hours. Go ahead and pour the water in there, V. Gorgeous. Wow. There's wow. nothing like a like a slow like, simmer. Put your ear to like it. it. There's nothing more satisfying than that. You know how they have the rainforest sound on like your alarm clock? Yeah. They need a this need to They need the Jamaican stew to oxtail noises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we're gonna let this stew for a few hours, something like four, five, six hours. The longer you let the oxtail stew, the more delicious it gets. And tender. So we'll see you in a few hours. What do you wanna do? Um, um, well, let's go watch some drag. Okay, cool. <laughs> Oh, what an intense watching session that was, I know. man. What's I your drag name again? Uh, Brittany Sears. Like like Sears? Like yeah, Oxtail Sears? Exactly. That's very good. Mine's Casey to Mondays. Speaking of Mondays, every Wednesday you can listen to Josh and I's podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich. On this week's podcast, we're talking about what is the best time to have brunch? Personally, 2.30. Ugh, one. 2.30. 11. Also also, to one. That's the best time to go to the dentist. 
tooth hurdy. All right, you know, my jokes are landing, baby. Hook, line, sinker. So, whoa, look at this that beautiful is a, color. This is a stewed oxtail. And the test of a good oxtail is it should just fall right off the bone. So let's see what we're doing here. Will it? Yeah. Hold the I'd say so. Ooh, Look at that, baby. Damn, you can, can have you can, can you can have the nubbin. Of course, you can have the nubbin. The nubbin. Yeah, there's always this one mm. this one bone right here. You always got to be careful of it. But normally, you can just hold it like this, and it should just shred right off. Look at that. Oh my god. My mom would just keep this so she could like just suck on it later. Yeah. Oh my god, your mom's a bone sucker. Yeah. Your mom and I have a lot in common. <laughs> they should be best friends. <laughs> we go ahead and make that an aioli for us. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Show us about. Let me get you a napkin. <laughs> okay, so we have some beautiful mayo. Our favorite thing ever in this kitchen. We use mayonnaise. An insane amount of mayonnaise in this house. Like it's it's ridiculous. And it then is. we have some scotch bonnet pepper, which me and Nicole tested out yesterday. Nicole, how'd you feel after you tasted this? Um, it wasn't. It was really hot. It um, likes. Um, Ruined my life for about five minutes. That's it. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, they're bringing the heat with the we Cajun. Want Lily. Let's bring yeah, the heat with the gonna... Scotch bonnet. Oh, okay, okay. Let's do it. I mean, don't kill, don't kill Lily. No, I'm not gonna kill her. I mean, I'm not she gonna kill has her because to be then alive I'm enough. gonna be so yeah. in trouble. Yeah, we're after gonna be that. in trouble. Scotch bonnet is a beautiful flavor. Aside from it being super, super spicy, it has this really nice, bright, like vegetal lime chest. kind of flavor. That's I really like it. I shouldn't have stuck my finger in there, but I did it. Give it a taste. Mm. I'm not like gonna it? do it again, I promise. <laughs> How's that aioli tasting, sister? <laughs> Need some salt. <laughs> it might be just as powerful as Tony C's, maybe his cousin. No, that's really delicious. I think the fattiness of the oxtail and all the other stuff we're gonna add in there is gonna be incredible. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. Nicole, are you ready to build the burger? I was born ready to build this burger with you, my friend. <sighs> oh. We're friends. Of course we are. Look at these beautiful oxtails. We literally oh, just- They're just gorgeous. Yeah, nice we broke them up. We're letting them get a little bit of sear action. We poured a little bit of the braising liquid in there too so they get really saucy and delicious. Mm -hmm. Gonna let that go. Our cast iron is heating up nicely. I'm ready. Pour a little bit of oil. I know what you're saying. The guys already did this. Yeah. We're doing it too. So what? It's not like we're copying them. Two the burgers. best burger is this double smash burger. Exactly. That's just a fact of life, you know what I mean? Yes. So let's go ahead and season them. V, let's slap them on at the same time, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. You wanna do pepper too? Yeah, yeah. Let's Why do not? pepper yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Ready, Freddy? I'm ready, Freddy. Okay. Freddy, one, one two, two, three. three. Go, go, go. Go. Beautiful. Do keep the paper on, keep the paper on. Yeah, and then we smash like so. We I mean, don't need no weight. I don't need I weight. I don't need no weight. I mean, we might, but like, yeah, might. I'm not using it. <laughs> well, this is my favorite part about watching this stuff people paper. make burgers. Oh my God, I got beef juice in my eye. Are you okay? Yeah. Can you, are you blind? I think I'll be okay. Go ahead and season them, V. Okay. Season them bad boys up. I just want to make sure you can see because things be happen okay. to your eyes for some reason. Yeah, I don't know what it is, man. Some girls have all the luck. Go ahead, add pepper too. Season it up, season it up. Beautiful. So now we just gotta let this kind of sear. You wanna talk about our other accoutrement? We have some pickled onions over here. You wanna taste them? No, them okay. not really. And we have some Gouda cheese. Good old fashioned smoked Gouda. Yes, yeah, so we're just gonna let these burgers cook a little bit longer. Everything looks cheese. gorgeous. I'm ready, man. I'm, I'm ready so to excited. I'm, woo, Lily, don't, you know, girl power. That's all I'm gonna say, girl. You can't power. cheat. They already paid her off. She, no, we're what? gonna lose anyways. No, that's not true because Josh owes me like $50. He always tells me to, oh, here, do this for a dollar. You never saw my money. money. Owes me. Okay. So let's get that this burger ready. Amazing. You want to bring it over? Yep. Okay. A little bit, not too spicy. <laughs> I don't want to kill the girl. <laughs> I almost put a lot. <laughs> Beautiful. That's perfect. Okay. Okay. Let's take this burger, put it over there. As you can see, the top one isn't that melted, but we're That's gonna put some oxtails, some piping hot. Oh, Ooh! splash zone! Oh snap! <laughs> okay, let's get that over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put some of that beautiful warm oxtail over the top. Wow. Stay. Okay. I got you a fork. No, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Okay, cool. And then just a little top bun with a little bit more sauce. Just a little bit more. They like the sauce. And there you have it. That's my beautiful burger. That's our beautiful That's burger. Our beautiful. We're gonna kick the boys in the butt. Everybody, welcome to special guest judge and friend of the show, Lily Neal. Woo! Welcome, Lily. Hey, Lily. Do you promise to be a fair and impartial judge? Of course, always. Do you promise that you are less of a picky eater than your father, Charles Lincoln Neal? I can say that with confidence. Thank God, Thank Jesus. Jesus. What, a, what a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nicole, your queso got tasted second last time. We went first. You have to go first this time. No problem. It would be our pleasure. Lily, for you today, we have a stewed oxtail burger with a scotch bonnet aioli, some smoked gouda, and a little bit of pickled red onions. It looks amazing. That's good. <laughs> That's Presentation is important. All right. You hear that, boys? Presentation is important. Yeah, I like that crop top. <laughs> Mm, that's really good. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It look you guys got some competition. Yes. You guys, stop you whispering in here, you little crickets. We're just having a team meeting. Okay. I really like the oxtail. I've never had it before. Oh, great. Um, but mm. yeah, really juicy. The cheese is like good. Juicy. I can't, I think I want another bite. Mm -hmm. you right, girl. You we want another the bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. The pickled onions, perfect. Right on. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. We'll try that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the list. And Lily right. may present to you Thawney Sachery's wet dream. So what we have here, this is a double andouille spice pork and beef burger, American cheese, pickled Cajun Trinity slaw, garlic butter, basted shrimp on homemade beignet buns, a little bit of remoulade. Well, it is dripping everywhere. It's a wet which... dream, Lily. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's, that's, I'll note that. Um, Sorry, Link. There's definitely a lot more going on in this burger than the last one. Oh, she's um, so she already so into it. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. It's it's right. Right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, this is also really good. The shrimp, I would never put shrimp on a burger, but it's great. And then you've got like, wait, what's this on the bottom again? Uh, so that's pickled celery, bell pepper, and onion mm -hmm. with a little bit of garlic and oregano. That's really good. It's like the, the crunchiness of the shrimp and then you've got like the juicy burger and then I'm gonna go for another bite again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You gotta get that nice filet bite though, and you gotta suck the juices out. Yeah. That's how the chef intended. <laughs> and the bun, the bun is very good. The Thank you. beignet bun, very interesting, but I really like it. What is it, soup? She's it's soup. Burger? She's eating soup. Soup burger. All right. Let her eat her soup burger. <laughs> 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 Lily, do you feel confident that you are able to make a decision today? Yeah, I do. Oh, wow. Lily, I mean, oh, good. they're both very, very good burgers. Like, on the count of three, roll. you will put one hand <laughs> over the winning hamburger on one, two, three. No! Oh! Yes. Why? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Yes. Why? Tell them why. Thank you. The oxtail. I love me a good stewed meat. You don't like those shrimps? <laughs> no, the shrimp. Okay, the shrimp is good, but I like I like the flavors better. I like I love pickled onions, and it, it's just like. <laughs> Damn. You guys lose again. Uh, Lily, I um, accept your judgment. Nicole and V, we're okay. down 0-2. But here's the thing: 2004 Red Sox, Johnny Damon, because I'm Josh and I'm Trevor, and we're losers. And also, uh, losers, two-time losers. Looks like this wet dream turned into a wet nightmare. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. We got new episodes of our podcast every Wednesday and Trevor's is Monday? I'm going on Mondays, I think. Monday. Do you? Hit us up on Instagram and TikTok at Mythical Kitchen with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag dreams become food. We'll see you next time. You sloppy son of a biscuit, get as messy as you want in your own kitchen when you have the Mythical Kitchen Towels. Available now at mythical.com.